Good morning, I'm Aisha with the top stories this Thursday, coming up in the next few minutes. Fancy a ride on this epic bus? And is tech taking over your life? First up, the 2016 Rio Olympic Games leap into life tomorrow with a big opening ceremony. And it's Andy Murray who has been announced as the flag bearer for Great Britain at the event. It's the tennis champion's third Olympic Games. In 2012, he won both a gold and silver medal for Team GB and has won two Wimbledon titles since. What a legend. And, of course, with just a day to go, all the athletes are now settled in their temporary homes for the two weeks of the competition, including our very own Team GB. BBC Sports' Ori Aduba invited himself along to the party. Welcome to the Rugby Sevens girls are in the house. Mark? I love what you've done with the place. The great thing about an Olympic village is that you pretty much get a bare space and it's your allotment to do what we like with. Who let Mark Gleghorn in <laughs> up there? Give us a wave, guys. Good to see you. Haven't you got work to do? Spirits seem really good. As you say, it's a great buzz. Everybody's excited and really pleased to be here. Max and Niall, welcome to Rio. Thanks. Thank you. How are you finding it? Good, really good actually. Accommodation's brilliant, place is amazing as you can see. We're getting started in a few days and it's coming around really quick, so it's, yeah, we're looking forward to it. This way. Hello? Yeah, okay. There they are. It's good to see you. How good you to see you. Richard, I have to ask you then about these guys. Look at them. It's your team. Yep. Your Olympic Rio 2016 team. It's a tight group, isn't it, that you've got here? Yeah, it's great. We train together and we compete together. I mean, we have been doing it for years. I mean, this is our sixth trip out here now, so um, as, as the sort of Olympic squad. Mm -hmm. uh, so we've been bonding really well, and um, so far we're, uh, we haven't had any uh, ma major issues. All right, here we are. What about... I've got to have a night. Do you mind if I... Yeah. I mean, I make my guess. myself... It's, it's actually just been uh, changed today as well, so it's nice it? and clean, yeah. And now tainted, <laughs> I'm afraid. In fact, if it's anything like London, the, you'll probably see a lot of the athletes uh, with these flying home. Team GB are going to be taking their bed sheets home with them. <laughs> we shall see. Thanks, Ore. And while most of us are all about Rio, there are some sports which are looking ahead to the next Olympics, Tokyo 2020. Last night, the International Olympic Committee announced that surfing, baseball, karate and climbing will all be included as Olympic sports in the 2020 Games. Shauna Coxie is one of Britain's best climbing stars. We asked her what this means for the sport. The Olympics is such a prestigious event, you know, like it's the dream for all sports to be there. Um, and it's something that I never expected in my professional career. I never expected climbing would get in the Olympics so soon. It is, it's such a historic moment for our sport to like the first Olympic Games as a climber. I think people are going to really want to train hard for it. It's really exciting. Lots of you have probably already spent a few minutes this morning on your smartphones, tablets and the internet. Well, new research out today says that adults are spending too much time on their tech. In fact, one in three say they are missing on family time because of it. And it's not just grown-ups. One in four teenagers said being online too long has made them late for school. Experts reckon too much tech is not great for family relationships. Kids and parents aren't spending as much time talking to each other as a family, whether that's the parents with their phones bleeping away with messages from work, or whether that's the kids at the dining table trying to catch Pokemon. So is tech taking over in your house? Are the adults in your family always on their phones? Are you addicted to instant messaging your mates? Get online now and tell us. And while you're there, you can watch what happens when we take away the tech from some device-addicted tech kids. Next to a tower known as the Sussex Supersized Lollipop. Easy for you to say. It's officially known as the British Airways i360 and it opens today on Brighton seafront. It's made by the same people who built the London Eye and is the tallest structure in the country. 
Now, take a look at this giant futuristic new bus that allows cars to pass underneath it. And it's been tested on roads in China. The vehicle's expected to reach speeds of 60 kilometres an hour. Well, that is all for me for now, but we'll be back in half an hour. Bye-bye. Meet Imogen and Amelia. We're identical twins. You're very tall. Twin it to win it. Watch now on CBBC iPlayer. I didn't sign up for this. I'm almost a wolf. Don't miss brand new Hacker Time. Starts Monday at 9 on CBBC. Wahey! Some neighbours just don't get off. Ah! Brand new this summer. Butter snacks and gumballs. Today at 6 on CBBC. We are the bits in between the shows Wet your TV appetite and keep you on your toes Give you the goss on CBBC Give you the lowdown on the shows that you want to see Hitting your screens before and after school I like books! I'm into music! <laughs> I'm just naturally cool! Ha! We're on your tablet and your mobile phone We're in the place! And in your place! And in the place of your home! It's what we do! It's what we do! With you! Why we show your videos on the TV? We're bringing, Yay. we're bringing, Quizzes. if you wanna play, CBBC at bbc.co.uk. We make you laugh, yeah, we make you smile. <laughs> Have I told you I'm an actor? We'll be here for a while, from the AM to the PM, bringing TV alive. I can CBBC you, so check my high five. It's what we do, it's what we do. Celebrity guests, musicians, Actors. astronauts, we aim to impress. Stars from far off, from Wigan to LA. Send a star a message, let us light up your day. 